Good afternoon. Welcome to this uh, press conference after the high-level meeting with uh, religious leaders and annual meeting uh, of the Commission. I'm glad to welcome back Vice President Skinners in the press room with us. And without further ado, uh, I give the floor to you, Vice President. Thank you, Christian. Indeed, we have just uh, concluded the uh, 15th annual high-level meeting with religious leaders. Uh, this is uh, a dialogue uh, that takes place under Article 17 of the treaty, and today's meeting was the first of its kind under the uh, von der Leyen Commission. The theme uh, of this year's meeting was the European way of life and how the current crisis has affected and challenged the way we live, the way we structure our societies, highlighting at the same time the EU response on various fronts, but also the role of religious leaders and communities of faith in fostering the values and foundations of our union. It was an opportunity also for us to express appreciation of the positions taken by people of faith during the pandemic, but also uh, to discuss with them and listen to them uh, on very topical issues for our societies like security, integration and inclusion, and migration. We agreed, and I hope that the leaders will confirm that in a moment, that the admirable, admirable examples and experiences of solidarity that we have witnessed during these challenging times should precisely not be limited to crisis times, but be an integral part of our future policies and eventually through a more active involvement of religious leaders, communities of faith, and religious organizations. And precisely we agreed that we need to reinforce this structured dialogue in the future. Uh, uh, my colleague, Vice President Roberta Mezzola, uh, who uh, is also with us today, agreed that in the next meeting of the European Parliament, organized with the European leaders, uh, migration, for example, and the need for Europe to have a solid, holistic, cohesive framework for migration policy could be an issue for further discussions. So I would like to warmly thank all participants for their constructive contributions. And um, I would like uh, very much to repeat something that uh, one of the participants said. Uh, he said that we stand here for faith, for love, and for hope. And Europe, in these times, cannot 